Fishing Addiction is brought to you by Daiwa. Awesome stuff. G'day, I'm Mark Berg. My fishing addiction has taken me all over the world to do battle with some incredible species of fish. And now on Fishing Addiction, I share my travels with a different fisho each week and give them the opportunity to win $5,000 worth of gear from Daiwa. <laughs> Got it. You gotta swim it in. You gotta swim it into the net. Oh, it's a huge fish. He's got him, he's got him. This is an adventure we're never gonna forget. Oh! Another first for you. Yes. Thread fin salmon. <laughs> this fish is heavy, I've got to <laughs> Yeah, baby! What a fish! Woo! Fish on! Oh, it's a beauty! Absolute rip snorter. Oh, he's on! It's all happening! Huge teeth, big eyes. He just hates everything on the reef. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction. This week we're doing it a little bit different. Normally we fly to amazing locations. This time round we're doing a road trip. We've got the D-Max fully loaded, we've got the boat on the back. And the person we're surprising is right here at this school. His name's Paul, he's a school teacher. And he's in class right now to rock up and surprise him. And right there and then we're going to chuck him in the car with us. Let's do it. How you going, guys? Oh, good. Sorry to interrupt. Now, this thing only got no, this is Mark Berg. <laughs> How you going, buddy? Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you, mate? Oh, I'm in the dream. Wow. Well, let me fill you guys in on what's happening right now. You've got your family here, your dad's here, your son is here. So I've got the D-Max out the front with the boat on the back and we're leaving right now. So he's leaving you guys. Free period! Woo! And uh, we're going all the way up the coast. We're gonna go barra fishing and chasing Saratoga and it's gonna be awesome. I can't believe it, that's yeah? unreal. Yeah? yeah, I cannot wait. What do you reckon, buddy? Uh, I have, I've been watching the show for years and um, often, Often they'll do the highlights reel where you just get to see, you know, the look on everybody's face when they get, um, when they, when they find out. And I'll, you can't help. I've often, I usually call my wife in at that stage and say, hey, hey baby, come and have a look at this. And she go, yeah, I know what you're showing me again, you know. And so, and you watch that and you can't help thinking, I wonder how I'd react in that same situation. But it's nothing like you actually react. <laughs> is what I found out. So, um, yeah, it's surreal. Um, and um, the fact that. Um, Bergie's already suggested we might catch a big, big barra up north. Awesome. When Mark first rang me, oh my gosh, I thought I was talking to one of my friends. I've heard his voice that many times. So I'm thinking, oh yeah, Mark Berg. Oh my goodness, Paul's going to flip. He's got no idea that this is going to happen. He's going to absolutely love this. One to me. All right. Hey, <laughs> You're the best wife. Give him a big goodbye. Yeah. Bye. 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 See you guys. See you later. to catch two fish. Two fish is nothing, is it? Easy. Nothing, easy. You've already got one <laughs> is a threadfin salmon over 80 centimetres. All right. And the other one is a barra over a metre. Sounds great. Sounds good to me. Sounds barra over a metre. Now, they've been catching them here. No idea. That's well over a metre. That's a huge barra. And this does not count <laughs> for the challenge. Oh, 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 keep that pressure on. Good job. Oh, look at it. Yeah! 
Yeah, when you walked in, I was just so pumped, and then now, yeah, super stoked. Well, as a guide, there's nothing better than seeing someone land a big barra, especially it's their first big barra, and the smile on Paul's face said it all. If you'd like the chance to come on the show, become a Fishing Addiction member, and you could be taking off on the fishing adventure of a lifetime with Bergie and the crew. As a member, you'll score yourself a bundle of gear, including dio reel, cap, t-shirt, DVDs and more. That's well over $250 worth of value. Plus one lucky member will take home a Minn Kota electric motor and a Hummingbird Onyx fish finder. To become a member and have your chance to come on the show, check out fishingaddiction.com.au today. <laughs> oh man, it's dead quiet except for the birds and the cows and uh, the boat's completely silent and this little surface lure is just doing its thing and just when you sort of get a little bit comatose, you're not really concentrating, something comes up behind it and leaves a big swirl hole right behind the lure and your heart ends up in your mouth. It is, oh man, it just gets you going. Think, why didn't you eat it? Oh gosh. I guess that's why we do what we do because it's, you know, it really is so exciting. It's always that anticipation of what could be. So what I'm doing here is this is shallower water all the way through here, lots of weed, and uh, it ranges from you know, half a metre right through to about two metres underneath us. But the weed's about halfway up that, and these barrel will cruise through the weed looking for something above them. So I walk the dog style lure here, or a frog or something like that, and I'm using a thread line reel, Zaluvius from Daiwa, and just casting out as far as I can. You can cast this an absolute mile, and I'm working all this shallow water through here, just hoping we can get a big barra to smack our lure on the surface. It's really exciting fishing. I can't explain the feeling of when a fish eats your lure off the surface. Oh, he's right here. Whoa. Oh, nice little fish. It's not a big one. It's not a real big one. Back this drag off a little bit. When you see him actually come up and smack it on the surface like that, there's just something so special about it. It's visual fishing, you're hunting. situation if you're out in open water like this back your drag off you don't need to put that much pressure on the fish it's well hooked come on buddy he's having a go get out of there come on oh just in the nose Didn't like the net. Oh no, uh oh, oh, oh. Spin it, spin it, yes, well done. <laughs> Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That is exhilarating fishing. Wow, thanks, well done, thanks man. Well done. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was a strike, eh? 
Boom! Well, Thanks, well, brother. Well, Thanks, well. man. Yeah, nice fish. He's probably about oh mid 80s, I'd say. Yeah, so nice. for Peter Faust, this is actually not a big barra by any means, but I'm still very, very happy with that on surface. Oh my goodness. What a great fish. John's about to hold it up. I'll get this grip on me. Barra got some pretty heavy armor. You uh, you've got to be very careful with them, that's for sure. Over pretty quick. Look, look at, that. at that, what a special fish. Beautiful fish. If you have a look at these on the on the top here, these uh, dorsal fins, that spike there is a good oh, three, four inches long, and they're all the way along, and they're razor sharp. They'll go straight through your hand, and then on the side here, you've got almost like razor blades in through here. There's another one here, like they are. They've got some serious armor. And that's why a lot of people lose fish too when the barra turns their face on that leader. It'll just slice. That, I mean, that is razor sharp. So you've got it all against you. And then of course you've got all the structure as well. But what a fish, John, hey? Beautiful fish. Oh. Very fit fish, that one. He's yeah. in good, good condition. Good nick, hey? Yeah. Very good nick. Fairly young fish, I'd say. That's exciting fishing. Oh. We're gonna get it back in the water pretty back. quick, yeah. We'll see if we can get another one. Oh, come on, mate. Thank you so much for that. Such a cool fish. And head in the water. Oh, <laughs> swim him a bit. Oh, no, there he goes. Swims away perfect. That's a great start. Here on Peter Faust. Very cool. It's funny how immersive fishing can be. When a lure or bait is in the water, hours can often pass in silence. And as the sun moves west, the environment quietly draws us into its beauty. Oh yeah, what time were we out here? Fishing? Nah, I didn't, I don't, didn't feel anything, but just saw the boil. Kind of gets your heart going, doesn't it? Oh, doesn't it ever. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. No, he dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. Right when I said it. He didn't even touch the lure. He didn't even touch the lure. There was no weight there. Oh, baby. That was a big fish too. Just saying a lot, yeah, do we start? When the sun gets a little bit high, you wonder, do you keep fishing the surface or do you go a bit deeper? Well, I think I just answered my own question. A big barra just came up and boofed that. He had two goes at it. I didn't feel weight at any time, so he's missed it both times. Oh, my goodness. And I was just saying, this point looks really good. So you've got a big stretch of land, unless this is a little island here. And uh, points are always a good place to target in an empowerment like this. So you can imagine that land sort of comes down into the water there and it creates a nice little drop off or a nice little dish drain through there. A bit of weed, a bit of sticks, a bit of a heart attack. That was cool.
that ball f yonder. Holy smokes. What's our depth here? That's oh, perfect. starting to hear a few boofs now. We actually heard one in the distance and sometimes a barra boof when they come up and smack something on the surface at, at, at a distance with the echo, it almost sounds like a gunshot. It's an incredible sound. And as a fisherman, it's exactly the sound you want to hear when you're hunting these fish because it means they're feeding. And the interesting thing about it too is that it, obviously being in an empowerment, in a, in a dam, there is no tide, tidal movement here. However, these fish in here will still react to what the tide is doing in the ocean. So fish your tides. Two hours either side of high tide. The change of tide can actually bring the fish on here in the empowerment. It's an incredible thing, but obviously it's when the earth, the sun and the moon are lined up in a certain way, it triggers these fish that, okay, now is a time to feed. Now is a bite time. So don't ignore your tides when you're fishing in a place like this. Come on, Barris. I had another one both behind us. Oh gosh. It's exciting fishing. I'll come back to this point. The problem is when you get a strike like that and you start fishing again, you fish too fast. You gotta get your heart rate down and just slow down again. The tides were lining up down at the river. So we pulled the pin on the dam, loaded up the boats and headed for the mouth of the Proserpine. This was our last chance to land that 80 centimetre thread fin. If you'd like the chance to come on the show, become a Fishing Addiction member and you can be taking off on the fishing adventure of a lifetime with Bergie and the crew. As a member, you'll score yourself a bundle of gear including Dio Reel, cap, t-shirt, DVDs and more. That's well over $250 worth of value. Plus one lucky member will take home a Minn Kota electric motor and a Hummingbird Onyx fish finder. To become a member and have your chance to come on the show, check out fishingaddiction.com.au today. The locals were lined up on the jetty in hope of catching that fish of a lifetime. At least that was some sort of sign we were in the right place. Ooh, little butterfish. Look out from away. Little away. Little butterfish. Little baby ones. Put a fresh prawn and catch a big meter like we seen the other day. <laughs> well, this is it. We have this afternoon only to catch that 80 centimetre thread fin for our mate Paul, who's over on John's boat right now. We've got Shano, one of the locals. We've got some other friends in a tinny. We really, really want to find this thread. So we're going to spread out a little bit, see where they are, and let's uh, hope that we can nail one over 80 centimetres and let this bloke take home 5,000 bucks worth of gear from Daiwa. So, what do you reckon? Let's go fishing? Let's do it. Alrighty, let's do it. Right, lads. Good luck, fellas. Thanks, guys. Woo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> that made my day. I thought my mate was joking. They used to be here yesterday. Stuff. 
Well, this is our very last afternoon here fishing in this magnificent place. We're on the Proserpine River again. We have just this afternoon, we're waiting for the tide change. We're looking for Threadfin. Now, on the boat behind us, on John's boat, we've got Paul, our fishing addiction member. And on another boat further down, we've got some mates who are also fishing looking for the Threddy. So we thought if we spread out, we might actually find the school. And if we can find them, we can bring Paul over, and you just never know, we might finish on that fairy tale ending. 5,000 bucks worth of gear for our good friends at Daiwa. So, waiting on that tide change, and fingers crossed, we can find a nice big thready. Let's go fishing. go just in that room let's do it this week we surprise science teacher paul mitchell and take him on a road trip he'll never forget <laughs> hey going guys oh good sorry to interrupt <laughs> hey going buddy how are you mate i'm in the dream wow well, yeah, I don't know, the weirdest thing I think I've ever had. I, I saw you walk in and I was still mid-sentence and it took a few minutes for the brain to catch up and I just had this kind of, oh, you know, my sleep, my wake, what's going on? And then I looked back and I saw all the other people, the principal, my wife, um, the teacher who was meant to be teaching the class all standing behind and then just bit by bit, I started to catch up. I don't think I've caught up yet, actually. <laughs> Big threadies, no, not yet. We haven't set the challenge yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Now Paul and I have been working hard for the past five days. Paul has landed his metre barra, but the Threadfin are proving to live up to their elusive reputation. If he can land this fish this afternoon, he'll be driving home with $5,000 worth of gear from Daiwa. We peppered every hole and junction on the Proserpine River, and now on the last day we've called in the troops to cover as much ground as possible. If the fish are here, we're going to catch one. Eat it. Yep. Eat it. Oh, got, got it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here it comes. Oh, whoa, whoa. What have we got? No, it's a thready. Oh, got a thready, boys. It's not, it's not the size, but it's definitely a thready. Gee, man, he did nothing. Normally threadies play up. He did absolutely nothing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lovely fish. Those soft vibes that are very popular now in the northern parts of Australia and in the south on dewfish and so forth, they just smash the fish up here. All we're doing is let, casting them out, let them sink to the bottom and a little vibe off the bottom, let it sink back down. And often when it just starts to sink down, that's when they eat it. And it's exactly what this fish just did. Beautiful little Freddy and he's well short of the 80, but at least they're here. We know that they are here. Just out of interest, we'll have a quick look and see how long this guy is, right to the tip of his tail. Okay, so he's about 68, 68 centimetres, so about 12 short. Mind you, whatever I catch doesn't count, but at least we know the threadies are here. So hopefully Paul can keep on casting and find them. The tide's changed. Man, it's looking good, I tell you. Fingers crossed. Righto, buddy. Come here, you magnificent fish. Oh, look at them. Look at the big mouth on them. They suck in bait, predatory fish. They fight hard. And the cool thing about threadies as well, if you want to take one home for a feed, they are absolutely magnificent. I would eat one of these over a barrel Monday any day of the week. But that's just me. All right, mate, I'm going to spear him in. Away he goes. Now, one last thing. Some people write to me on Facebook and they say, Bergie, why do you throw the fish in? Two reasons. One, I don't want to get eaten by a crocodile. With, there's monsters in this joint. And two, when you spear a fish in, 
what you're actually doing is you're pumping all that oxygen back through their gills. These fish jump all the time, so it does no damage to the fish. It actually helps revive them, make sure they're all right, gets that oxygen through their gills, and they power away. So just relax. The fish actually like it. Let's go fishing. Oh, past those snags. Yeah. Apparently there's a hole in there as well. Whereabouts is it? Yeah, just Yeah, in past those snags. John, our guide, has taken Paul a little bit more into this creek and Paul's just hooked a thread. You could hear him screaming and hollering. And about five seconds later, you could hear all the guys on the boat, oh, and they dropped it. That, that could have been his chance right there. You've got to hang on to him. Tight line. Mm, bugger. Is he on? I think he's on. Oh, Polly! Come on, be the fish. Be the fish. We're going to speed in there and we're going to see what he's got. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to get too close, but close enough. Oh, I got the net out. Come on, be a big thready, be a big thready. If you'd like the chance to come on the show, become a Fishing Addiction member and you can be taking off on the fishing adventure of a lifetime with Bergie and the crew. As a member, you'll score yourself a bundle of gear including dio reel, cap, t-shirt, DVDs and more. That's well over $250 worth of value. Plus one lucky member will take home a Minn Kota electric motor and a Hummingbird Onyx fish finder. To become a member and have your chance to come on the show, check out fishingaddiction.com.au today. Is he on? I think he's on. Oh, Polly! Come on! Come on, be the fish. Be the fish. We're going to speed in there and we're going to see what he's got. Come on. I might even just back it down a couple oh, now. Right. That's right. That's right. What do you got, Paul? It's a barra, mate. A barra? Oh, yeah. I thought that was going to be it. Yeah. Oh, he's giving you what for? Yeah. Is it a good one? It's decent, yeah. Yeah, good one. You can see how hard those salties run. Oh, lovely fish. That's a beautiful fish. You're becoming the barra guru, mate. <laughs> I might lift him up now, mate. Get his head up. Oh, I spat it. Oh, no, he spat oh, the bait. The bait out. Yes! Great fish. Woohoo! How good is that? Well done, Ooh. mate. Salty, eh? Yeah. What's that, John? About 75? Oh, 70? probably about 70. 70? Yeah. Great fish. Beautiful type of fish, though. Well done, Paul. Yeah, thanks, yeah. mate. Hey, Paul, 
It's not a thready. I know it's not a thready. What are you doing, mate? I've never, ever in my life brought a bar in and thought, oh, damn. Yeah, I wish it was something else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we'll get this fish in. And when you let him go, you just, just get down low and spear him in. Don't put him in yeah, the water. No, I won't be putting my, too many crops, my hands mate. in there. Oh, nice fish, mate. Yeah, thanks, Bergie. Is that the biggest salty you've ever caught? Uh, it'd be pretty close to it, yeah. Yeah? Yep. Good on you, mate. Yeah, cheers, mate. You had a good time, brother? Oh, mate, I've had a blast of a week. Yeah? It's unreal, yeah. Well, it's not over yet. All right. Freddy. Yep. Think Freddy. All right, you want to let him go? Yeah, sure, And of sure, course, mate. with these big crocodiles in here. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere yeah, near. Yeah, head All first, right. spear him in. Away he goes. Good on you, <laughs> mate. That's right. Salty <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. After landing that nice barra, Paul wasted no time in getting connected again. What is it? What is it? What is it? Come here, mate. Come here. That first run felt like a thready. They often just dart sideways. And it hasn't jumped, so I'm thinking it could be a good thready. I hate it. it felt like a thready. No, nah, it's a little barra, foul hook barra. Felt a lot better than what it is. Oh, I should be able to just lift him in, mate. Come here, little fella. Oh, we're seeing some fish, but they're still not the one we're after. All right. Now this barramundi is definitely undersized, but for its length, man, that is a fat, healthy fish. Beautiful saltwater barramundi. And you got me right in the thumb. It's always the little ones that get you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, beautiful little fish. See you, mate. Pew! And he's away. Oh, it's a thready. It's a thready. It is rolled in my braid, my line. There you go. This thready is not the size we're after, but he is the size that's going to go in my belly. That is a beautiful fish. We let the other one go. Good. Oh, look at that. Little just fell out. Beautiful. Thanks for that. We let the other one go, and my uh, camera operator, Mr. Loft, said, What are you doing? So, for you, my friend, this thread friend salmon is all yours. Happy with that? Yeah, I thought you might like that. Nothing wrong with catching and killing a fish. Catch and release, we're all into it. We love it. It's great for our fishing environment. But occasionally, take one home for a feed. Don't give up your right to catch and kill and eat a fish. And I'm happy with that. And the threadies are here. There he is. He's about 72. They're getting bigger. Beautiful fish. got just after five o'clock the sun is dropping fast now I reckon we've got about an hour left we've caught a couple of threadies they haven't been size and Paul he's only caught one barra I just don't know if this is going to come off it'll be a fairy tale ending if it does but uh, I think time is not on his side <laughs> So. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think we want to be pulling the boats out in the dark. No. Yes, we do. <laughs> Minutes to find an 80 centimetre thread. Alright. Oh, good, mate. I'm feeling great. Pretty tense, but good. We packed our rods away and headed back to the boat ramp. Even though we try not to get too tied up on the challenge, it's still disappointing when our members miss out. But cheeky old Paul wasn't quite finished. And while he had a rod in his hand, he was not giving up. Mate, I just got a hit. Fish on! Fish on! Are you really? Yep! Fing some wine. Are you serious? I'm serious! It's under the such boat. a liar! I'm not wine! Show me the bent rod! OK, oh, let's look, get in the boat. Cameron's going to get the net. It's the 11th hour. Could it happen? Oh, my gosh. You got the net? No pressure for Paul Will, our camera operator. Wait, don't go too early with the net. You've got to swim it in. You've got to swim it into the net. Get its head up. Uh, I'll run down. Alright. Go on, pull him out of there, man. Muscle him in. I think he's in there, is he? No. Stay on the boat, otherwise you'll get too close to that jetty. Where are you? He's underneath, is he? Yeah. All right. Oh, please yep. be a big thready. Please got be a big thready. Where are you? I've got him around the jetty. Oh, yeah, but now you're in the current. Whoa, taking some line. Careful, dude. What are you doing? Come around this way. Oh, you're a madman. No, stop there, don't go any further. That's right, I don't want to bring him in. Where are you going? I want to get him out of the current. You're not going to get him out of the current, stay there. All stay right. there. Now <laughs> fight him. Bring him in. He's hooked some sort of big fish on the jetty. As we're taking the boats out, he can't help himself. <laughs> and, but he thinks it might be a barra. We're all very excited. It's very dark, so he probably can't see anything. <laughs> we're just taking the boat out. <laughs> Spot, right? Literally on, last cast, I was yeah, about to put the... If you can give me Come on, pump him in. Let's go. You want to get him sharked? Oh man, this could be the fish. I can't believe this. Off the jetty. This is insane. Oh, what is that? Pump and wine, mate. Get him in now. I can't, I can't quite see what it is. Oh! He's bringing oh. your way now, Bergen. All right, yep, go again. No, no, you stay there. Just bring the rod straight up to you. You don't have to bring it to the side. Just bring it straight up. When he comes up. Oh, I saw a silver flash. And again, pump him up. There's no reason why this should take this long. Go for it. There's about 400,000 mosquitoes down here, I'll just tell you. <laughs> and in shorts, that's feeling really great right now. Dude, you are freaking me out. Would you please catch this fish? <laughs> the current's that stronger, current, isn't it? Oh, it's so strong. Come on, a couple of pumps now. Get him up. Oh, wow, it's having a go. Oh, 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 it's a big barra. It's a big barra. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Oh. Look at that thing. That's a pretty nice barra. Holy smokes. <laughs> Congratulations, yeah, man. Thanks, that is mate. a yeah. magical fish. Mate. I'm so sorry it's not a thready. Don't worry, I never thought I'd be disappointed to bring in a barra, but... Um, I wish we could give it to you, but we did say nah, thread fin, and did, it's got to be fair did. to all the other members that come on. No, no, fair enough, mate. But what a fish! Off the jetty! That's yeah, awesome. You are the barrel whisperer, my friend. Mate, while we're here, thanks for everything this week, too. It's been an absolute, oh, my absolute pleasure, cracker. Man. My yeah. absolute pleasure. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't get the challenge, but you've had a good time. Had a great time. Yeah? Yeah, great Highlight time. for you? Um, highlight the barra. The meter count. barra. Yeah, the meter yeah. barra, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. by far. But I'll tell you what, this comes pretty close. Like, yeah, that's got to be what? 
That's be pushing 90 for yeah. sure. Yeah, I was, you know, I had the rod packed away and the boats were, the boat's getting put in at the moment. And I thought, oh, I'll just have a couple last casts. And I almost didn't throw that last cast. I was just about to rack it up. And I thought, you know, just one last hail. One more go. Yep. And uh, you smashed a huge fish. Yeah. <laughs> now is the time, before we go and we sign off, what have you got to say to your wife, mate? She's, uh, she's the one that put your nomination for me. And she's the one that bought your membership for you. Yep. What do you have to say to her? Look, Mel, I'd, I'd just like to thank you so much. You know, um, the amount of times I, I kept saying, come in here, come in here, have a look at the TV, and you'd come in and you'd look at it and you'd go, ah, oh, it's Bergy. <laughs> then you'd come in and you put your nomination, but um, yeah, look, what I'd like to thank you for more than anything is um, there's lots of times when you stay at home, and, and I know it's harder, you know, staying at home, but you're always super stoked to get me out fishing, and I go fishing all the time. I go out, and she's like, get out there, have another go, and, and I really appreciate it heaps. She's so, a lovely well, lady, mate. You've she, done well. Mate, I'm a lucky man. You are yeah, a lucky I'm man. Very lucky man. All right, folks, well, we're going to sign off uh, to give yourself the chance to come on the show. Make sure you go to the website, fishingaddiction.com.au. Sign up, become a member, and you never know, you might be this bloke and come fishing with me. And don't forget, John Henke, our guide, his website is on the page right now, on your screen right now. The guy's a legend. He's probably one of the most experienced fishers in the country, and he will get you onto fish just like this. Yeah. So check out his website. He's a good guy, isn't he? Mate, before you finish, I just want to say a big thank you to John and Peter as well. You know, um, aside from the amazing fish I've caught, I've just learnt so much this week. So, mm. and, and that's the main thing. I go home and use all that. Yeah. As well, so. They're the loveliest yeah. people, so make sure you check them out. So until next time, I'm Mark Berg. This is Paul Mitchell. You stay safe, and God bless.